Oh, hello. I'm Dave Rickey. You might know me as the most humble guy at Fox, or the guy that always quotes The Office. I'm here today to help enhance your listening skills with my informational instructional video. Now, during this video, I urge you to use your listening skills that you already have. But, actually, you're not going to gain those skills until after you watch my video, so just try your best and watch the clip. Okay guys, I called this meeting because corporate has been breathing down my neck to make sure that I am properly preparing you all for communication planning. The importance of interpersonal communication is vital and cannot be neglected. Unfortunately, such a vital and essential human skill, communication is largely relegated to the back burner in favor of more tangible skill sets. Without proper communication of messages and of complete understanding of them by the receivers, the quality of everything from private homes to nuclear power plants is in jeopardy. On the surface, it appears that we humans are constantly in communication, which is essentially true. The problem is that we are not articulating properly. Do, do not understand our audiences, do not understand what is being told to us, don't even listen, fail to pay attention, or we simply shut down from information overload. Time out. Time out. Alright, do you guys know what's going on here? This is an example of pseudo-listening. I mean, just look at everybody. They're not really listening. Okay, so pseudo-listening is faking attention and pretending to listen. I mean, how are these people in the meeting supposed to retain the information if they're not properly listening? Here are some ways to better your listening skills so that it is easier to retain the information. There's a five-way method. It's called SOLAR. The first two ways are squarely face the person and open your posture. So you want to kind of have more of an open posture and kind of not, not have crossed arms and just seem really interested into the speaker. Okay? The third way is lean towards the center. So when you're sitting like this, you want to lean your head towards the center and just act like you're paying attention. Now the fourth way is make sure you maintain eye contact. So with this person, she's looking at her nails, so she needs to stop looking at her nails and look at the speaker. And the fifth way is relax while attending. Obviously, this uptight worker doesn't really like what the speaker has to say, so she needs to kind of just relax and learn to let down. Now let's see if they've improved their listening skills. On a more basic level, communication is the underpinning of all human interaction. Were we suddenly unable to communicate between one another, we would rapidly evolve to exist. Without the capability of speech, body language, listening, and reading as we know it, we would be unable to recognize it. The species would probably die within a few generations, as children would be poorly cared for, since knowledge of this skill cannot be taught and or passed down. So that was pretty good. And remember the five ways. Solar. Squarely face the person. Open up your posture. Lean towards the sender. Eye contact maintain. And relax while attending. Hi, I'm there will be a large for... increase in suicide <laughs> when the elder come to grips with their suddenly that. lonely and reclusive lives. This is how important communication is to our lives. You might commit suicide without it. That's basically what I'm saying to you. So communicate with one another or you'll kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now you can change right over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's also September 11th is an extreme example of failure to communicate. <laughs> wow. He communicated oh, while the plane was going down. <laughs> <laughs> he told you yeah, the plane's going into the building. I think we probably shouldn't play the 7th and the I mean, 